hello everyone welcome back to the new video of easy tutorials today in this video i will show you how to make this type of slider selector for website using html and css here you can see when i'm moving the select button to left or right its value is also increasing or decreasing you will find this type of slider selector when you have to select any value between any range as you can see this emi calculator design is also made using three slider selectors before starting this video i will request you to please like this video and also subscribe if you are new on my channel now let's start this video here you can see i have one folder and in this folder i have one image one html file and one css file now i will open my text editor which is brackets editor so this is my html file and this one is css file I have connected the HTML file with CSS with this line of code. Next we will come to the CSS file and here we will write body and for this one we will change the background. It will be black and we will add font family. Now I will open this HTML file with Google Chrome. So that you can see this entire page is black. Let's come back to the HTML file and in this body tag we will create one div and we'll add one class name. So I'm writing main. So in this div I'll create one input field. So I'm writing input type and type will be range and its minimum value will be 0 and maximum value 100 and its value will be set at 50. Let's refresh the web page and you can see this range selector here. Let's copy this class name, write it into the CSS file and for this one we will write some width, margin and position relative. Refresh the web page, you can see this selector here. Here we will add one ID. So ID I am writing slider. Let's copy this one and we'll use it into the CSS file. Here we will write webkit appearance none and width 100% height 7 pixel and outline will be none and border radius for 3 pixel. Refresh the web page and you can see very long slider selector here. And this is the selector button. Let's copy it again. Here we will add webkit slider thumb which is for the selector button. Here also we will add this webkit appearance none. And width it will be 48 pixels and height also same next we'll add cursor pointer and z index 3 position will be relative after reloading the page you can see this slider selector button is invisible from this page so that we can design our own selector button for that we will come back here in the html file and here we will create div and we'll add one id selector we'll create another div here and the class name i'm writing select btn now i will use this id in the css file here we'll add height and width then position absolute will add bottom and left 50% because default value is 50. Next we'll add transform translate x minus 50% and z index 2. Let's copy this class name select btn write it into the css file and for this one we'll add height 48 pixel and width also 48 pixel then background 
and url and the file name then background size will be cover and background position will be center border radius 50 percent and position absolute bottom will be zero reload the web page and you can see our own select button here but right now you can see it is not moving towards left or right so we have to add the moving functionality here for that we'll come back to the html file and at the bottom just before this closing body tag here we'll add a script open and close then write var slider document.getElementYID and just copy this id here slider just duplicate it and here we'll add selector and this selector id here that's it next we'll write slider dot on input equals function just copy this one here and then write style dot left and it will be this dot value and then we'll add percent that's it refresh the web page now you can see this select button is moving from left to right and we can also move it by clicking on any position next we have to display its value also so just come back to the html file and here we'll create one more div and here we'll add one id so the id is select value just copy this id and write it into the css file for this one we'll add width and height then position absolute and top zero background this color border radius 4 pixel and text align center line height 45 pixel and font size 20 pixel font weight will be bold refresh the web page and you can see this small box here where we will display the value you can see this small box is also moving with the button let me copy it again then we'll add after and here we'll add content it will be empty then border top 17 pixels solid and this color next we'll add border from left then border from right position will be absolute and bottom minus 14 pixel left will be zero refresh the web page and you can see this down arrow for this value box this entire box is moving with the button next we have to display the value in this box so just come to the html file duplicate this line and here we'll add this one select value and id also select value next we'll add here select value dot inner html equals the slider dot value now refresh the web page and you can see this value here by default we have set the value 50 which is displaying here but you can see this value is not changing when i am moving this button towards left or right so we have to add the dynamic value also here so let's come back to the html file just copy this line and add it in this function here we will write this dot value that's it now refresh the web page and you can see when i move this button this value is also increasing and when i move this button left this value is decreasing 
and you can see I can move this by clicking on any position. Next we will add the color for this horizontal bar. For that just come back to the HTML file and here we will add one div and we will add one id. So id I am writing progress bar. Just copy this id and write it into the CSS file. For this progress word, we will add width 50% and height 7 pixel background this color and then write border radius 3 pixel position absolute and top 0 left 0. Refresh the web page. Now you can see this color for this horizontal word which is for 50% of width but it is not changing right now it is fixed width so we have to add the changing functionality here so just copy this one and duplicate this line paste it here and this id also next come to this function duplicate this line write this progress bar here and instead of left we will add width that's it now save these changes and reload the web page now you can see this uh, colored progress bar width is also changing when I am moving this button towards left or right. So finally we have completed this attractive slider selector using HTML, CSS and a small JavaScript. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question you can ask me in the comment section. Please don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you so much for watching this video.